Hi, I am Yugendran, doctorate with five years of industrial experience in the field of molecular diagnostics. Today, I would be explaining how to interpret the NIPT test report. Firstly, I would like you to understand that each one of us carries two copies of single chromosome in our body. So, let us say due to certain uh, uncertain situations where the developing fetus or the baby uh, carries either more than two or less than two copies of uh, any one particular chromosome then that would lead to a genetic abnormality and this particular test focuses on diagnosing this very, very much the same genetic disorder. So now I have test reports from two different types of individual. One is for the individual who is having a high risk followed by another individual who is having a low risk. Now let us come to the test report of the individual with a high risk. So let us understand the components of this test first. So the initial part carries the patient details followed by the report summary which states this particular individual is having a high risk for trisomy 21 followed by the recommendation based upon the results which they have observed and it also says the about the percentage of fetal fraction it is given in percentage as 8.3 so this is the percentage of fetal dna which has been extracted from the given blood sample of the mother now if you look at the recommendation it states further genetic counseling with comprehensive ultrasound examination and confirmatory diagnostic tests are recommended so i would request that if any person who is tested with a high risk uh, probability they need not panic they can just go and consult their doctor they will guide you through this entire situation with the help of a genetic counselor so you need not panic it may not be necessary that your uh, fetus or the unborn child might be suffering with any of this genetic disorder and now you can look at the results so this particular report focuses on four different scenarios based upon the chromosome which is in abnormal copy number so it states for chromosome 21 which leads to down syndrome chromosome 18 which leads to edward syndrome chromosome 13 which leads to patel syndrome and also the sex chromosomes sex chromosomes are x and y chromosome which are responsible for determining the gender of the baby so a normal child in case of a girl would be carrying two copies of x chromosome whereas a boy would be carrying one chromosome copy of x and another copy of y so let us say uh, if a fetus is carrying multiple copies of either x or y or let us say it is missing one particular copy of either x or y both of them are a case of a uh, genetic abnormality and only that would be reported here you can see a statement this test does not report the gender of the fetus this is as per the government recommendation so if that is any abnormality associated with sex chromosomes only that would be mentioned whereas the gender of the baby will not be revealed under any circumstances that's it so this is how a report looks like in case of a patient who is having high risk and whereas in case of an individual is having low risk it would be just mentioned as low risk and they would also give the LLR score and sideways you can also see the cutoff value for the high risk for your normal understanding so this is what a report looks like so let us say if you uh, are found positive or you are uh, found to have a high risk then you need to go for other tests as recommended by your genetic counselor and if it is low risk then you can need not fear and you can be completely risk relaxed about your baby thank you